time for the third card in this kit series. Um, and the kit comes with instructions. It has all the products and supplies used, and it also has directions with dimensions of how to cut all the pieces that are prepared for you in this kit. So this is the card we're gonna make. It is this horse pasture with a belly band that slides off. This part hinges down so you can see the whole image and sentiment. And the card opens up and you still have plenty of space to, room, to write your message in. So super cute. I love just the country theme. And let's just go step by step how to make this card. All the pieces are ready for you in the plastic bag. Let's take a look what we have. We have a card base and there's also a score line for you to make that little flip up. So that's what we're gonna flip up. We have a piece of white paper for the inside to write your message on because dark brown can be a little hard to write on. We have this gingham. Um, it was actually from a Christmas collection, so the back side is Christmas. <laughs> if you want to use that, you're welcome to, but I think you'll be happy with the plaid. There's also a little strip to go with it as well. We have three circle images with the horse circlets. Um, this stamp set comes with stamps and dies to cut out the inside, so that's really helpful. It even cuts out the little details in this fence. So these images are meant to layer together like this. And they have circle die cuts with this stitching detail, which is really pretty. And of course, for the belly band, another strip of brown paper. So let's make this card together. First thing is make sure your card base is folded in half and then take this little flip and fold it up. I'm gonna use a bone folder to help me crease the edge. So if you have one, feel free to use it. Next, we're gonna open up the card and glue this white paper on the inside. You can use whatever adhesive you have at home. I'm gonna use this tape runner, quick and easy. And carefully center it. Next, close your card, put the flip down, and we're gonna put this uh, plaid on the top. A nice little square. Again, all the dimensions are in the instructions, so if you wanna recreate this card, um, go ahead and grab the kit and it has the instructions that you can use over and over again. Next, we're gonna put this little plaid. When the fold is up, we're gonna glue this down on top. So when we fold it down, it's gonna be just plain, but when the card is kind of all closed, it's gonna look really nice with this. So gluing that here. You can reinforce the fold with the bone folder. And now take the largest one, which is the barn, and we're gonna go ahead, open this up, and glue it so it's centered on this square. So go ahead and glue that down flat. And place it. Great. So now we're gonna fold the flip up and take the next image, which is the horses. Place it around so the circle lines up nicely here. And we're gonna glue it to the little flip part. So we're just gonna put some adhesive on the back side of the circle like this. So flipping it back, 
putting it just on the very bottom, just right there. I don't want it to be too high so it's being glued above the flip. So again, lining it up with the circle, make sure that your horses are on flat ground and press it down. So here's how your horse is glued and it lines up perfectly with the barn. The next part is this belly band. So this can slide on and off of your card. Here's how it looks when it's done. So take your brown piece of paper, center it along the back of your card, and Go ahead, there's no score lines because I want it to fit your exact card. Just gently bring it up and down and give it a nice gentle fold on both sides. Make sure it's not too terribly tight, but also not too loose. So you want it to fit well, but you don't want it to be so tight it's really difficult to take off. So. This is gonna slide up and down. Now what we're gonna do next is glue the fence to the brown. Now on mine right now, this is overhanging a little bit. I'm gonna see what happens if I rotate this around, if it will fit better. Let's then place my fence. And yeah, since I rotated it, it fits pretty well. If I slide it up, I wanna make sure when I line it all up, I don't see any brown on the inside. If you do, you can always trim it a little bit, but I try to measure it so it's just right for you. If you need to redo your folds a little bit, you could do that as well. But this is looking good. I'm going to make sure I glue behind right here on the brown. So a very narrow strip. I'm going to go ahead and put it back, place it exactly where I want it. One side is glued down. Now let's glue the other side. Put a little bit of glue on the very edge And there we go, a perfect belly band. And you can just slide it up and off the card. And that's how it opens. So just like that, we've made another card with this really pretty stamp set and papers, a little country feel. And be sure to come back for the instructions for the last card in this series.